Our live audience today is from the Virginia Beach St. Baldrick's Day event, Hampton Road Shave to Raise. It's a unique fundraising event that is a whole lot more than just raising money. Larry Woods joins me now, Shave to Raise organizer, along with some very special guests, and we thank everybody for coming today. So you look like you're gearing up. Yeah, I've been uh, about six months now. Uh huh. So I've been kind of really getting ready for this whole thing. Each year I do another month. To it, so. Now you will take uh, a before picture because this is awesome what you've got going on here and I'm going to be asking yeah. you for some product advice <laughs> after, the <laughs> after the show. Yeah, it's a product called Glue actually. It's the <laughs> only way it stays up. But uh, yeah, we, we've been gearing up for it. Uh, St. Baldrick's is, this is our ninth St. Baldrick's here in Hampton Roads. Yeah. And uh, this is my seventh personally. So we, you know, it's a nice, great fundraiser help for childhood cancer research. Uh, last year we raised one hundred thirty-four thousand dollars. We had about one hundred and sixty-three, I think, shavies. We're trying to really go higher than yeah. that this year. We've really hit a lot of things this year, yeah. and then everyone here has uh, participated in some way, shape, or form. Actually, longer than I've been around. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, great clips with Patty in the back. Mm -hmm. Great clips has been great. Uh, of course, uh, we've got some people who actually work with CHKD. Uh, it's a conflict of interest for them to actually say that they partner, but these individuals take their time out to help out, uh, including Dr. Lowe right here next to me. Mm -hmm. And the event actually came to Hampton Roads in 2004 because of this man and his wife right behind him mm -hmm. uh, because of uh, their son. So we kind of do this in dedication for them and, of course, of all the other families that have go through the same thing. Yeah. I mean, there is some good news in pediatric cancer in terms of the cure rates are getting higher because the funding for the research is there, but even the children who have a great prognosis cannot get around that treatment. And it's tough, and losing their hair is emotionally tough. How do they react when they see people willingly going bald with them to help them? It's uh, one of those infectious kinds of things when yeah. you're there. Uh, everyone's happy. It's uh, it's. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, each year, uh, St. Baldrick's has five ambassador kids throughout Northern America. Mm -hmm. We have one of them right behind me. I this is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi. It's an honor to meet you. So what nice does it mean to, you to, to you to see people showing that kind of support? Um, I think it shows, um, especially the first time I lost my hair, I was 14. And when you're 14, yeah. that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when other people who aren't in the same situation as you are show that kind of love and compassion and that it doesn't matter and that you're still beautiful and it's great it's it's infectious and it's just awesome well, thank you thank you very much for sharing that too because i know you probably weren't expecting to speak today and i just I saw the moment spot. i'm sorry about that <laughs> Well, if people want to take part, what should they know about where and when? So uh, you can go to hrgoesbald.com, mm -hmm. and it will redirect you to the page. It's going to be at the Westin on March 17th, the largest building in Virginia for the largest St. Baldrick's in Virginia. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, and then if you come, there, we've got a lot of fun activities that will happen. I think I'm going to have the police department versus the fire department. Kind of whoever raises the most will get to shave the other uh, team's hair. Nice. Uh, we'll have raffle items. There will be silent auction. I'm um, trying to work on some mascot races for the kids. There's tons of stuff. I actually had something I kind of wanted to throw out there. Uh, you got a nice co-host up there, Mr. Chris, who's got a lovely, you know, set of hair. I was wondering what kind of bounty we could set with your viewers to get him to do it. I was thinking around like $25,000 if uh, people would do it, if he would come out, and I'll be right there next to you to shave if, mine. If you get $25,000, i will go with it. Fantastic. Wow. <laughs> Good and for you. Whoever raises, whoever does the most top donation, if you show up, you can shave his hair. Wow. So just go to the site, hrgoesball.com. Just there's a way you can donate right there. Just donate to the site, and if we get twenty five thousand dollars, you know, Chris said it, he'll do it. All right. Well, Ariane and I are about to put our cars on eBay just to kind of <laughs> help that out. So I was like, have no fear. All right. All the information there on the screen for you. Help out St. Baldrick's. Go to stbaldrick's.org to sponsor a child or be one of the brave who will shave. Thank you very much. Thank nice you. Thank you. Too. Wow. I, I will I be do, the first. I do have a lot of potential. I will be there, the first fifty dollars towards that. Oh, you will. I'll, yes, definitely. Oh Let's my. Here we All go. Right. Well, wedding we continue.